Hello guys, the Master of Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time I'm going to go ahead and hop into Raided with, guess what? Ah, Sword Soul. Yep, we're on a 7 win streak right now. Also, I know there's a lot of new cards that have been coming out, and I have another account that I've been grinding the solos on, so comment down below what deck you want to see me play like next, and I will go ahead and get the deck on that account literally tonight. And I'll play with it tomorrow. So whichever comic gets the most likes, that'll be the deck I play. Just don't do something boring like Sprite, because then I may as well just play it on this account. Because I already have like most of Sprite stuff. But okay, uh, besides that though, we're going to hop into this match. Could start with a shooter just to bait, but there's really no point. Because if I get hit with like double hand trap, then I'm just passing anyways. Get hit with imperm, this doesn't help. Honestly, this doesn't really help for like anything. Tribute to go summon. Then they're gonna chain a hand trap. I got chain called by on it. Hopefully it's maxing not ash, because then I just lose my ash value. Oh, unfortunate, but I still have to do it. Otherwise, I'm just doing nothing and I'm putting myself on top deck. So we're called by the. At least it's a level three still. So like I'll have a shoot of ash in hand in case my board gets wiped. I mean that's something. So go ahead, banish that. Cool, it resolves. And then special summon out from deck, bring out Mo of the Yi. And then we'll activate this effect. Effect reveal. Let's reveal one of the Vashudas. Oh? Oh, that's bad if that gets stopped. That's really bad for us if that gets hand trapped. Yeah, that sucks. I literally had no interruptions. I just have to pass and pray. Okay. So stop that. And then pass. So why'd it have to be Ash? Why couldn't it have just been Max C or Valor? Cause now I just die. Probably. Right? As long as their engine can play through an 18 defense monster. They're gonna be scared of hand traps. Oh, but it's Sprite. Yeah, their engine is not scared of hand traps. They just like summon from deck. They could even just do like the small play. They could overlay for Gigantic. Put me on have Valor. If I don't have Valor, then I can't drop Nib. Like Ash isn't usable. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just gonna scoop. We're just gonna scoop. We're just gonna scoop. I'm not gonna waste any more time. That game is definitely over. I'm not playing through the end board no matter what my draw is. Okay, but on to the next game now. Okay. But the one thing that's going to suck is when I get on the new account, I'm going to start in, like, Rookie Tier 2. Which is going to be pretty bad. But, there'll be content, so it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Maybe I'll do, like, a, a one-hour session or something for, like, the first video on that account. That hand's awkward. Um, but it does play through Maxi. Any hand that plays through Maxi and plays is a hand that I enjoy a lot. So, normal summon, effect, reveal, and then reveal the emergence. Special summon out token, and then activate emergence, go search. Like, I could do the Moe draw, Long Young. I think I'll just put no respect on Nib. I haven't seen a lot of people play that card. A lot of people cut it when Sprite came out, which is kind of surprising. But maybe it's because maybe it's because you have to play like Cross Out and Called by in the deck, which takes out hand trap spots, which means it's harder to draw a nib plus a hand trap if you want to continue to play around Maxi. And then okay, so we'll go through. So draw Ashina. Nice. Okay, so Emergence can search Long Young, and this will search Black out. That was a really good draw. And then activate emergence, search out the long young. Cause then I get to discard Ashina, go for the Adara monk stuff. Which just gives me even more follow up, cause I'll have emergence for follow up. And then summon, bring out token, drop anything there. Nope, cool. Ashina, tag out, go summon Adara. No chain, special, then synchro, yeah, we're just going to go for this, one, two, summon out in defense, because I refuse to get hit with lightning storm, 
like for crazy value. Because they just call monsters, and I honestly will just lose. Because all I'll have left is Ash. That card's just a little bit too popular. Summon. Then we'll go auto row effect. Tag out, add back, grab back the Ashina. And then I can set black out, and then pass turn. And that's a pretty good end board. We got Imperm, Ash, Banish, Pop 2. We got four interruptions with decent follow up. And that's that's like drawing two ash too, which is like a little bit unfortunate. Um, we got Long Young in Graveyard, which makes it easier access to get to with like a Taya play. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, that is not good. Yes, I will let that go. I'm also gonna let the summon of that go through, I think. But like it's tough, because they if they just go like monk battle phase. I do really just lose my Sinister, and I lose my Monk, and then I have to black out. Oh, I have to. That card's nice in the mirror. Okay, Banish. Yeah, I literally just have to. I just have to. That card applies too much pressure. Harpy's Feather Duster. Well... I guess I may as well go ahead and banish that, since this isn't going to work against anything else. Go ahead, banish, burn for 12. At least two cards traded with two interruptions. It's not that bad, but it's also not that good, because of a shooter plus, like, Mo you would cook. Okay, I have, Al I have Ash for the Ashina. They both have Ash in the name. I just have to Ash that. Um, otherwise they get to Vashuda, and then that means that they will be able to Vashuda bounce Grandmaster, normal summon Moe and Ash has no effect on that play. Emergence, that will now be met with the Ash Blossom. I feel like I'm just getting hard baited right now. Um... But if they grab Long Young, nah, you know what? Better have it, right? Yeah. Choose to not ask that. Go ahead, grab Long Young. Okay. Yeah, you, you literally just better have it. You just better have it. Simple as that. Starts with the normal summon Moe then. Okay, I feel like the beginning of this was like lined pretty well, and now it's being a little bit weird. But I still think I'm gonna get cooked. Uh, I'm gonna banish the blackout. No, I shouldn't have banished blackout. I'm just thinking it's so like Long Young discard summon Synchro 8, Grandmaster blackout Synchro 10. Monk with Shooter, Bounce, 10 Pop, or, or, or 10 Banish Banish, that, that, that. I'm trying to see how I don't die. I think it just has to be Blackout, but then I just lose to the Interruptions. So, I'm just going to Banish this, because you either play to like not lose or you play to win. I think I had to leave Blackout and Graveyard for my tie on my turn. So that way I can like summon it, play around Grandmaster. Then Long Young, discard, Ashina. Okay, special bring out token. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. And then what? Let's make the synchro eight. No Punisher? Wait, this play was dog water. Hold on. Unless I'm just dead. Wait, is that enough life points to just end the game? No, it shouldn't be. No, it's definitely not. It's really, really close though. I was doing the math wrong there for a second. I was thinking it was 91 attack, and I was like, oh no, that sucks. 
But yeah, that sucks. Unaffected by opponent's activated effects. Oh, let me think on how it's just out this. So I haven't thought about it. I don't think I can. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to out this. My extra doesn't have what it takes. I guess like Chowfing negates the effect to gain attack. But there's no way with it being at 81, there's no way I can beat over it. Even like with a Draco Berserker play. Um Yeah, I should just lose. Thinking if there's a way that I can like game around this card. And I also don't think there is. I guess I can just try to long young infinite times, right? I don't think I don't think it's actually worth giving up. I might just be able to long young around infinite times. Like a few times and then try to win like that. Okay. Um, so I gotta go like Ecclesia into Taya, Taya, Banish, go in the back, see ya, Ashna, Adara, back, see ya, Pop, Adara, so summon back out, Moe from the graveyard. Yeah, this is tough. I was not expecting Psychic and Punisher there. To be fair, I was, I was expecting to die. So, I guess this is better, but not by much, not by much. Effect, banish, and then I was going to bring out token, then blackout effect, bring out token. Yeah, there's no way for me to do damage. Over the long young that is currently on fields. So there's no point in me leaving it there. Okay. Synchro. Like. Yeah. Okay. How does he even get banished? I forget. Did I banish it? I actually don't remember. No. I don't remember. I'm just dumb. Okay, can't focus on that. Except for it literally just doesn't matter. Go ahead, summon. Oh, they banished it with second gun punisher. And then effect. Spin back. Select another card. No. And then Taya effect to go dumb. So then Taya can. I guess technically Taya could dump the Otara. I need to do it multiple, multiple times. So I need to be able to use this long young, this long young, and then do it again for a third time. I'd be fine with doing that. Getting rid of that. Yeah. And then back to your put back. Auto effect, banish, add back, yup, okay, and then I can go effect, I actually, I should do this first like I was talking about, the pop bring out Moe, I know I'm taking a lot of time, But, I feel like I kind of just have to. Also, if they use the like, Psychic and Punisher effect to banish next turn, then I'm in there even easier. Because then I only have to do the Long Young twice. Summon, summon. And then make this. One, two. Summon out. And then we can go effect which will be able to search out the other long young then moe trolls into the third ash 
I'm actually gonna add this. No, I'll add this. I was thinking about adding a emergence that way they don't see all the long youngs and see that kind of line. Effect, discard, special effect, special summon out token. And then use those, summon one, two. I get it, there's not a lot of time left. You don't have to show me like this. Summon. Then effect to burn. And then switch to defense. And then just pass. Okay. And hopefully they draw something that I can hit with Ash Blossom. Hopefully it's not Ottera. <laughs> Actually, it'd be fine, because they summon this in the extra monster zone for some reason. Okay, cool. That's definitely getting hit with Ash. Ash that. Yeah, well, they can't punish her now. I mean, they could, but they're not going to punish her now. Yeah. I can Grandmaster... Um, I guess that way I can use uh, Supreme and banish an Ashina from their grave. I may as well. Just to take out resources from them. Banish. And then... Uh, target. Doesn't matter what I target. And then effect... Banish Ashina and Punisher. Wait. Oh, because it's doing it not on the activation, but it's doing it when it's resolving. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that does out that, huh? Because it's like, it's kind of like Mirror Jade. Whoa, that is crazy. I didn't even realize that. I was doing that on hard mode. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I'm not even going to lie. 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 I was cooking. They were not winning that game. They were not winning that game. I had Long Young Burn, and then I had Shaman bring back Long Young into the third Long Young Burn into game. I had all the Ash Blossoms to stop the top decks, but like that, that is good to know. That is good to know. That was a good game. I didn't even know that. I was literally just doing that to banish Ashen out of Graver, and I just banish the Punisher. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Lose rank down game, and I win. I win. A, I win another rock paper scissors shoot. I win another one. I win another one. You realize what this means for you, right? It means that you are not winning. Oh, wait, you might win. Don't have Maxi. Don't have that card. That card is not fun. We can both agree that that card is not fair. So just don't have it. Let's go. Summon. Yeah, they definitely have a Veil or something. Uh, or an Imperm. Link off. Summon. Then we can go activate Vessel. Vessel dump. Let me think about what line I want to go for. Um, because I do have Ecclesia, Long Young Moe in hand, so I want to search Blackout. So Vessel can be the auto rest search if I want one. Uh, I could like search, I could end on Protoss too. I kind of just want to like dump the Protoss, so I can end on that also. Yeah, I'm down. Dump, add, then we're just gonna add this. Then we can special summon this out. Let's grab that. And then go effect, special. And then we'll go Ashina effect, tag out, go summon. Okay, some of the shooter. Gave him an option to do something there. Just a little bit concerning. 
And then I can go for Baxia. One, two. Summon. And then no effect on summon. Nope. And then I'll use this other effect. Target. Target. Cool. Summon back out. And then next we'll use these. Make the Chow Fang. One, two. Summon. Okay. Then summon Ecclesia. Ecclesia effect. Tribute. Bring out Taya. Okay. That's fine. Effect. Banish Protos. Imperm. Okay, I was going to say, like, the Imperm is going to get dropped eventually. Usually you don't go for this play unless you have a way to beat Imperm. Which we do. Yeah, that's what this plays into, like, the hardest. But it plays around the Nib, the Gamma, the Valor. And then Long Young. Discard. Special summon out. Bring out the token. And then... I can go... Otter Effect. Banish. Add back Protos. Um, it could be, like... Baxia, and then Baxia and the Moji, Moji draw, Banish Blackout, yeah, pretty much just doing this for the extra draw, that's fine, the extra draw's worth it, one, two, um, and then also, I was supposed to pop Chow Fing now, ooh, just, a, ooh, just that one, yeah, but this will dump some follow-up, I guess, since we went through the Ashina and never got it back. We can just dump Ashina. And then we use this effect. Pop the Chow Fang, because we can't end on Blackout now. We're going to have to banish it from deck. Pop, bring out. Summon. And then we're going to go ahead and go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2... So reveal Protos, and then, okay, the results, summon, and then go search, I'm just going to search Ash, and then after that, make Grandmaster, okay, uh, We'll do Moe 1, Grandmaster 2, Banish the Blackout. They also know everything I have, but that's fine. Nope, do not add that to hand. And then Moe draw 1, draw on the Imperm, that's nice, it's another interruption. And then summon out the token, and then use those. We'll make Sinister. And then, uh, the backseat on field is also follow-up. Burn. Summon. One. Two. Uh, I actually don't need to banish that. Banish this for sure. I'm pretty sure it's just the other backseat. Uh, and I'm fine with banishing the other backseat. Uh. And then, summon... Effect called Dark. Set pass. Okay, cool. So, we have a pretty solid end board. Locked amount of Darks. There's a lot of decks that just can't play through that. And then I also have four interruptions. So, four interruptions, the Flood. Foolish, sure, that's fine. That is a fine. What deck are you playing? Is it Dump Angler? Is it Dump Angler? Please be Dump Angler, because that just means I win. Oh, gosh. Okay. Dump Nerval. Nerval effect to search. High key. I could just ash this. Let me think. Let me think. 
Actually, it really doesn't matter. The Trevor Gate cards, I beat. It's the bird cards that I'm scared of. Grab Fractal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Use the Fractal, use the Fractal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Go ahead, fill up the graveyard. Yup, yup. Dump the Sparrow. Sure, the Sparrow gets cooked. That's fine. We're good. Summon effect. Um, I kind of just want to play around talents and activate the Imperm, even though it's unknown. Now nah, we'll just use this, and then banish Chalfing. I really don't like having to uh, fractal dump the bird that Warbler tries to summon back, just because that's like one of the only interactions where your deck just takes like a a massive dump on card advantage. Caress, discard kit, summon. Then they're gonna go kit effect. I'm just gonna use this effect to banish it. No, I probably shouldn't, because I just have an imperm for it. Yeah, it should be fine. Because the last card in hand is on Sparrow. What if it's Wagtail? I have Ash. Nah, that's fine. I'm just trying to not get hit with Zeus. They can't go in the downer because Protos. So maybe I should have done that because then I can just imprim the Zeus, right? Because they wouldn't be able to get enough materials under it. Unless if it's normal summon Swallow. If it's normal summon Swallow, then I lose. It's probably just safe to do it like this. Okay, go ahead, banish, get hit with Imperm, the Moe you draw. They're gonna be mad. They can't go for four, cause the Protos. They can't summon Omen. They can't go for Access Code. Okay, banish, just chain Imperm on that. Go ahead, shut that down. Resolve. Nice. Now use your spell and trap in the middle column and make this easier for both of us. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't go for Anaconda if you play that either. I still have two solid interruptions, or one solid interruption and then Ash. I would have searched Valor if I had it in my deck, but... Wait. <laughs> what was that starting play? Sure. I said, I know it's not Sparrow in hand, but it really just was. That's ridiculous. Summon, I don't think, I don't think... Yeah, yeah I mean, there, there, there's, there's just no way. Like, I just banish that, and that's just game. Scoop phase. Draw. Maxi. Oh, I'm gonna be, um... Summon. Effect. Call Earth. <laughs> switch to attack, switch to attack, switch to attack. Battle game. Wow. And then poke. I should have done it in a different order, so I have one less Grandmaster activation request. Boom. Nice. Uh, can't believe the last card in hand was Sparrow. They tried to play me like that. But... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and win but like i said at the beginning of the video let me know what deck you want to see me to play and i will be playing it in the next video so just let me know comment it down below the one with the most likes will be the one place so if you see one comment that you like on the deck just go ahead and like it and this is the list if you want to go ahead and copy it sword so 2.0 because we don't have three moe and the master dual grinders signing off peace have a nice day stay safe